Butter squash are so beautiful, you almost hate to cook them. They look like some kind of like Japanese ceramics or something like that that ought to be in a museum rather than you know something they cut in half and stick in the oven. But they're amazing. They're sweet. They're so easy to cook, and there's such a wide variety of them. It can be a little bit intimidating. You, there's everything from like very tender ones to really hard ones. If you want like a really safe bet, I'd go with kabocha or with butternut. That's, those are my absolute favorites. When you're looking for winter squash, the things to look for, first of all, you want a really hard shell and this deep, deep saturated color. And then this quirky stem, which shows that it was fully matured. And often, you'll find that there's a resting spot where it rested on the ground. That's how you find out that they were really ripened on the vine uh, for a long time. I think winter squash intimidates some cooks because there's a big hard shell on it. You think it must be impossible to cook. It's really, really simple. Here's what you do. Just cut the squash in half lengthwise. Use a heavy, sharp chef's knife for this. Use a heavy spoon and scrape out all the seeds and pith. Put the squash face down in a cookie sheet that's been lined with aluminum foil. Pour over just enough water to lightly cover the bottom. That's just to keep the squash from drying out on the cut side. And then roast it at 400 degrees. You're going to cook it until the squash is soft enough that you can easily pierce it with a knife. It'll take about an hour. Let it cool slightly and scoop out all of the flesh. Once you've separated the flesh out, you can do almost anything you want with it. You can puree it, use it as a side dish for roasted meats, spice it however you want, whatever sounds good to you. But it's really the sky's the limit when you've got winter squash like this.